And now a rising American Israeli singer songwriter Eitan Pellet seamlessly blends English, Arabic, and Hebrew in his eclectic range of musical styles. With his breakout single reaching the top of Israeli charts and earning the title of Breakout Artist of the Year, Pellet's multicultural talent is captivating audiences and breaking borders. And he's here with us today. You're a little intimidated, I see, with all this this, this whole description. How are you doing wow. today, Eitan? It's great to be here. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Now, you have the amazing talent of really switching between three languages, you know, Arabic, English, Hebrew. How has, yours, has your cultural background really influenced your music? Where did this come from, the idea of actually mixing these languages? So I think if I, if I think where the first idea came from, I come from a family of academics. Both my parents are professors. Um, and um, I've, I've always had a big curiosity for culture and for language from home. Uh, and uh, moving to Israel as a child, we, I, was, I grew up in Boston, and, and when I moved to Israel, um, I majored in Arabic in, uh, in high school. And I just, I don't know, I just had this, uh, this feeling like it was a bit weird to me coming to Israel seeing that Jews don't speak Arabic. Um, and it just seemed like something natural that, you know, it's the Middle East and something that should be taught here and, and be, you know, like mandatory. Um, and I really fell in love with the, with the culture. Um, in the army, I was in a, a two hundred, which is an intelligence unit, um, and I did Arabic there. Uh, kind of delved deeper into the Middle Eastern culture, um, and then after army, I worked a bit in education. I lived in a Druze village um, for a year, um, serve, uh, serving as a counselor for Druze and Jewish youth together in a special program. It's like a gap year before the army, and uh, just there, I kind of got the the confidence. Um, to pursue my real dream, which is music. And it just felt natural to me at that point to connect everything that I had done in my life and That's just connect amazing. all the, it's just something natural to me to connect the language. It's not something I thought too much about. That's really amazing. Now your debut single, Where the Days Gained Immense, really popularity, topping the charts. What made you create this particular song as your first song? I mean, I'm happy to say that I read the comments on YouTube and I see it's pretty much like the fauda of songs. I mean, what fauda does in the world, if I may compare. How did the idea came to mind? come to mind? I think Where Are the Days is a song that, um, I mean, now I work as a songwriter, so I write songs every day. But that song specifically has a very special place in my heart. I think I wrote it in like 15 or 20 minutes, um, which doesn't usually happen to me. Usually I spend much more time writing a song. And I wrote it for my little sister, Shira. Um, she was going through a bit of a hard time, and I really wanted to tell her something. So I wrote the song um, basically as a way to express what I, what I want to say to her. And I sat with her in the car afterwards, and I just played her the song, and it was intended only for her ears. Um, and I, for a year and a half, had that song on my phone. And I had no, like, I, I didn't even think I was going to put out the song. Um, the song is like a one take song. So like I went to the, I just recorded it and there's no like, you know, a lot of times artists, they do takes. So you sing one line, then another line, but that, that song's like sessions really raw. Sessions on yeah. sessions and really. Yeah. So that song's just like very raw and very emotional for me. Um, and I, th I, I mean, I guess that that's part of what helped it um, or, you know, resonate with people and connect to people. Um, and I didn't expect it to. I, I really put it out. I didn't expect it. see comments from all around the world. You see, from Arab countries. That's why I said Fauda, that you know, really succeeds in the world from Lebanon, from Arab countries. Yeah, I've been getting also recently a lot of comments from the Arab world, which is very, very exciting. It's definitely part of my goal um, to build bridges between different communities through language. Um, and actually, on that note, last uh, last week I did my uh, um, my first kind of show for my artist project. So I had a um, a show singing all my songs in all the languages I had. And, mixed Arab and Jewish audience, and hearing everybody sing in all the languages together was just a That's moment I'm never going to forget. <laughs> Eitan, and being recognized as a breakout artist of the year by Gal Galat, a prominent radio station really in Israel, significant achievement. How has this really achievement impacted your career? I mean, what comments did you get? What did you hear? I think it's impacted my career in the sense that um, I'm very fortunate that my first song out and did as well as it did because it gave me the confidence and the courage to pursue music uh, full time as my job. Um, I'm not sure that I would have done that if, if it didn't happen that way. Um, and after I put out that song, I got a lot, a lot of requests for writing songs for others, for TV shows, and Baruch Hashem, like I'm being able to uh, make a living out of music, which is a real blessing. It's not an easy, an easy, not an you easy know, thing. Yeah. Do you want to play something? For yes, us? I would love to. I'd love to. Let I me do it. Love to. What are you playing? I'm going to play a special song that I've never played before in an interview. It's called Maspik. It's in Hebrew and Arabic. Um, and 
I guess I'll let the song speak for itself, right? <laughs> Yala, as we say. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. One second. Yep. Come as man at a voz riha, Mr. Ver, and Limanuha, Cola Roche, Mitahat Las Miha, Vealev. Los Oher, Ersexe at Khan, Cola Goof, Rakotel Ashan, Areot, Raks of Votashan, Vealev. Mafini anam sar lo zaman Wena kya hayati mazelet kvatsesh Vemaim leolam yoter lo nipagesh Maspik Kama ze maspik Ech ze lo mafsik Anna bahlam bi Yom wa laylat mi And that's amazing. Hey. I really recommend hearing all your other songs. I'm a true fan, you know that. Thank you so much for joining us today and coming in. Thank you Appreciate for having it. me. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much.